you can clearly see that this engine is running and um, if you remember my previous videos uh, this uh, truck was um, a 2013 engine, it has a 2013, uh, I mean, it's a 2013 Cascadia, and uh, the engine was or the original engine, but right now we swapped the engine for a 2016, I believe this is a 2016, so the 2016 and 13 are completely different engines. Um, it's emission wise, basics on how the engine runs is pretty, pretty much the same, mechanical area. But when it comes to electronics, it's completely different. So uh, you can clearly see that this engine is running perfectly with no problems. Everything is on place. Now we have the proper wiring. Um, I mean, it's not a proper because we did ourselves. It's handcrafted. That's what I want to call it. So uh, we have the wiring. The thing is going to work <coughs> with the... Uh, uh, with the engine right now because uh, the original wiring that came with the uh, engine it is not the right for the truck because as I say this is a 2013 truck so we have to modify the wiring in order to make everything work perfectly so uh, components then we have to swap where couple I mentioned that before in my previous video if you haven't seen that you can uh, check my channel and you want to see the video about it and you want to see all the things and we have to swap to this and that and uh, to make the engine run with no problems so basically that's pretty much it it is just making sure that all the components then you are going to install on this new engine are from that engine that is right there uh, this engine is completely apart you can see we have many components then we remove and we have all the components over here see these components these components are for the 2015 engine 2016 it doesn't matter it's the same thing so uh, we have the turbos uh, flywheels and brackets for the arrows the exhaust manifolds and uh, we have the um, what else we have over here we have uh, some other components uh, but uh, we remove mostly on the exhaust area that's where the engine varies the most so you can see over here then the intake area where the intake manifold uh, or the old suction i mean the old uh, mo 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 uh, module is we have all the components except for the water pump over here fuel module the same fuel pump is still the same the doser you see the doser block over there the one where you can see the three bolts over there i'm gonna get closer there so you can if you don't know what i'm talking about the doser block is gonna be this one right here so where the three bolts are so here is the one that connects to the fuel pump this is the one that we have to reuse to the engine in order to connect the original emission system for 2013 because the 2015 is completely different so we have to reuse this part pretty much it is just this uh tin then the one we have to remove and all the components see all all the other components even the injectors everything everything is in there most of the internal components of the engine are there except for the uh, old pan and stuff like that but you can clearly see that it's possible to do an engine swap and uh, the engine will work specifically from 2015 and uh, 2013 or you can do it from 2010 2015 or 2013 to 10 and, and uh, 13 to 15 uh, engine is going to work uh, the same way uh, because the engine mechanically is the same way electronic components are going to be the ones that are going to vary and uh, you can clearly see the proof of this engine that is running and uh, we have no major problems except for the coolant level sensor it just went bad probably when we remove everything quick working but uh, that is the only thing then we have left over here the coolant level sensor so we have to replace the coolant level sensor and now other things like uh, the oil pressure sensors the uh, uh, the timing sensors and all other sensors are still the 2015 engine and uh, they still work they're comparable to the 2013 uh, computer so uh, we don't have to change that many components it is just basic components in order to have the system to work properly um, in in order to have the system work with this mission system then this chassis has which is a 2013 emission system which is completely different as i said before and uh we uh, have everything ready mostly you can see then everything is 
ready now engine runs now with no problems uh, transmission is installed uh, clutch is already on place everything else so this ready this engine uh, this truck is ready to go we no we just need to put the hood put the other components uh, detail the truck completely and that will be it and then the truck can go i mean this is this is a used engine as i said before so far the engine is still running fine uh, i don't know how many miles the engine had but uh it didn't have any broken pieces it didn't have any uh any type of uh abuse uh broken oil pan and i just gonna let you know then if you are planning to buy a used engine for your dd15 just make sure then the oil pan is on place but most of the people then is going to sell most of the companies then are going to sell used engines they are going to remove oil pan they're going to remove most of the components because they are trying to free sell each component individually so uh, they are going to uh, do that if you want to apply uh, buy an engine try to buy the whole engine because that will be the best because you're gonna know how the uh if the engine if if the oil is still there probably the engine is still good so you have to make sure that the engine rotates and you if you haven't seen how to rotate a the engine you can check many of my videos i show how to manually check if the engine is good or how to service the engine when you have to rotate it and stuff like that you can use the alternator to rotate in a 15 16 socket and uh it is something that is not hard to do you can do it yourself you can just get the tool it's not something that you have to call a mechanic to make sure it is just to be sure that the engine rotates freely because when you are buying a used engine that is the issue then you never know in the condition that is coming and at least making sure that the engine rotates freely that is the easy the the, the uh, basic thing you can do because if you make sure that the engine rotates freely that means that the engine at least has no problems with it, what is the crankshaft the crankshaft is clean so uh we could have uh, problems with something else but uh at least the crankshaft is going to be okay uh and also if you planning to buy a used engine just make sure to buy it for a good source because most of these people that is trying to buy i mean sell used engines they are going to remove components to sell them individually and then they want to sell the engine with bad components to you and then you have to spend more money to fix it because you know they're trying to make money out of anything so just uh try to get an engine from a good source and uh, so we did on this one we did we did got the engine from a good source and um engine came uh, you could see my video before and the engine was complete with the radiator and everything 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 was right there so let's send the engine just like that and if you wonder how much this engine costed that was ten thousand dollars just for the engine that doesn't include the labor that doesn't include anything else it is just the engine but it was kind of cheap it was a good price because the engine came with everything we have the turbos we have the radiator we have the um the flywheels the clutch we have the valve covers the filter everything basically so it was just ready to install if we wanted to even the oil was already in there so we if we wanted we can just like install the engine right away but it was not possible because this engine was not com to totally comparable with this engine so we had to do some modifications as you could see so uh these are my advices if you are trying to buy a new engine because a new engine is going to be the cheapest solution when you are having problems with uh, your engine. Uh, for example, you know, a bad job or the engine just gave up on you or some things like that. And uh, buying a new engine is going to be the cheapest solution because as you could see on all of my videos, uh, repairing an engine is going to cost around like $26,000 or plus depending on the components that you are going to replace. Probably the minimum is going to be $18,000. That will be the minimum that you're going to spend. That's going to be cheap if you are going to uh, do any major service to the crankshaft and stuff like that. So uh, that will be cheap but uh it's not going to be less than that and replacing an engine is going to be pretty much a little less than that or no more than eighteen thousand. but um this proof that is possible um probably um i can do some other details later probably i want to tell you about how it is 
to connect the wiring and everything because that is something that you guys are going to have trouble if you are going to swap an engine to another probably the wiring how to connect this how to connect that in order to have the engine work properly it is just that it's basic it is nothing complicated but uh, once you have the the fear, then you're gonna make a mistake, it's gonna be a problem because you won't be able to do it right. But uh, I, I will try to cover that in different videos on how to do the wiring and everything because uh, uh, it, it, it is hard uh, just to show you like that. You have to be physically seeing how I do the connections and everything. So you get the idea on how to do different modifications to the engine. And that way uh, we can uh, all share different things. Probably you can also share if you know how to do different modifications to these engines in order to work uh, to have them work properly, you can share them in the comment section below. You can comment everything that uh, you wish to share with everybody that is trying to get as much information out of this source than is YouTube. And um, it is very important for all of you because we all can there. And uh, it is very important that you can also answer questions of someone else. Probably there is. Uh, question and you know the answer is very important then you can answer it because you know I cannot answer all the questions at once but you can do that too you can answer a question and that will be very appreciated for the person that has the question and um, when I send me uh, when I contact me directly you can go to Instagram look for me Francisco Maya YouTube you know what to do uh, it's just basics and uh, just follow me there uh, you wanna send support to the channel, you can check the description of the video, I have details how to send support to the channel. Create more content like, like this for all of you that wanna learn more about these uh, vehicles and are getting more complex day by day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, it's very important, share it with anybody that's having troubles with these machines. And thank you for watching.